In a neighborhood surrounded by existing woods, not all that far from the Wakaiva River, a bear and a dog tangled Saturday midday. A smaller dog had gotten loose from its uh, owner and uh, ran after a bear. Uh, and at that point, the, the bear uh, killed the, the little dog. Dogs and bear encounters are common, exactly why FWC suggests animals are always leashed. Even people with fenced in yards are encouraged to check the yard before turning dogs out just to be safe. They're not aggressive by nature, but a wild animal being cornered, you know, being pursued by another animal, it, it will defend itself. Since we're in the very early stages of fall, FWC reminds all of us that the bears we normally see around Central Florida, we may see even more often as they load up on calories for the winter. People will see bears more active. They're going to be going through different areas. Since the bears seem to have simply responded instinctively, it will not be trapped and moved. There have not been other recent bear issues in the neighborhood off of Orange Avenue, north of State Road 46. It's an unfortunate accident, but we're, we're not going to trap the bear and relocate it at this time. To limit bear activity in your neighborhood, do your best to get rid of things that attract them. Remove bird feeders. Don't put your trash out until the morning of trash day, or even better, get a bear-resistant container. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.